plaintiff, Lisa Hughes, says the defendant is her nephew. And he's a good man who treated her with a lot of respect until he falsely accused her of stealing $100 from his business. She's suing him today for defaming her name. Defendant Artis Lewis Jr. loves his aunt and says she has changed her life for the better. But he claims she's still a hustler who sells pills for money. Artis insists Lisa did steal $100 from his business, so he's suing for the stolen money. All right, let me hear from you. Okay, Your Honor, first of all, this is my favorite nephew. I love him with all my heart. I will actually walk through hell with gasoline draws on for this young man. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Is that easier than suing him? <laughs> 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 You know what I'm saying? Math. I'll, I'll try to do the math. <laughs> okay. You know what I'm saying? You what know? was it like with him growing up as a nephew? Oh, he 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 was a great nephew. Good man. He's an entrepreneur. He's never been in jail. He has a lot of respect for me. Even when he was a little boy, I was the first person to teach him how to cuss. He got a whooping on. My sister whipped his butt. <laughs> he was he set him up for whooping. <laughs> Well, my sister said, he said, well, my Auntie Lisa told me to do it. She said, well, you don't do everything Auntie Lisa tell you to, you know. But he's awesome. He's, he's a great all-around, all-around guy. I'm, I'm so proud of him. He does a lot. He helps a lot of people, you know. Good. Let yeah. me hear from you. Oh, Your Honor. She's telling I, me how you help a lot of people. I'm sure you can get around to that, but go ahead. Yeah, speaking of helping people, you know, I, I help my auntie a lot. I love my auntie. My auntie has came a long way. You know, she just recently got baptized and changing her life around for the better. You know, this is one reason why I had her working close with me, handling money, <laughs> is because, you know, you know. What type of uh, business do you have, or? Uh, I own a, I started a non-profit uh, organization called Men Like Us, Ypsilanti, and I bring. Ypsilanti, Michigan? Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. I can, I can. Let me see it, yes. I bring uh, awareness to skilled trades to troubled youth within the neighborhoods that's being led the wrong way because I feel that college might not be for everybody. Yeah. But uh, learning a skilled trade as far as heating and cooling, electrician, maybe even barber school could help a young man go down the right path. So what I'm trying to do is offer them something other than them getting the wrong information or going down the wrong path, you know what I'm saying? So, Ypsilanti, huh? Yes, sir. 3011 East Michigan Avenue. Men like us, Ypsilanti. You know, I went to Eastern and Ypsilanti. Oh, okay. Well, you know the area. You, yes. South side of Ypsilanti. That's where I'm from. <laughs> uh, Imani Bates. Yeah, Imani Bates. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Eastern. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Highly touted. Yes, sir. Basketball player. Yes, sir. So I, I have been here and we got him to go to Eastern. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, he played basketball uh, with my son. His friend, his dear friend here. Okay. <laughs> Corey. Yeah, he, yeah. What's he he brought him here. <laughs> and I pulled him back in the back and said, you better go to Eastern. <laughs> you better go to Eastern Michigan. I know all the top schools in the world want to. So he was on the cover of Sports yeah, Illustrated at so age nice. 15, so highly projected. And we expect great things for him. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We do this at the Mathers Community Center. This is exactly one of the programs we have. We call it a career and personal development workshop. That's great. We have tabletop displays from all agencies in the immediate uh, community to come and set up and sign people up the day of. Okay. We don't let them go home unless they signed up for something. Imani Bates. Yeah, the, Imani Bates. Yeah, yeah. Eastern. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Highly touted. Yes, sir. We got him to go to Eastern. Okay, okay. Um, his dear friend here. Okay. <laughs> Corey. Yeah, yeah. What's we'll he brought about. him here and I pulled him back in the back and said, you better go to Eastern. <laughs> you better go to Eastern Michigan. Plaintiff Lisa Hughes is suing her nephew, and he claims Lisa is a hustler who sells pills for money. Congratulations. Thanks for the work that you do. Thank you, And you're going to blow in there. 
<laughs> messing his business up. No, sir, and he's no. trying to do well with the <laughs> youth. Like as that. much as our youth need help, you coming in there no, messing no, up his like business. Also, you got a lot of nerve. <laughs> oh, you didn't went through it. I don't even know what it is, but you didn't live pretty low down back in the no, day. No, 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 no. Get your half. Get your half. So and they want to come man. in here stealing from the youth. <laughs> No, that's not true. Actually, the governor, she was just there. The mayor has been to his spot. We now you're going to throw Governor she Whitman was at, in. Yeah, she was there, too. Well, I'm going to ask her. She was there? Yeah, uh, I had met her and at a uh, prior prayer breakfast. I got a picture with her and everything, and her and Gilchrist. And so, yep, the yeah. lieutenant governor. Yes, sir. The brother, the yes, African American yes, lieutenant sir. governor, doing a great job. Yes, sir. And tell me how she messed your business up. I don't even want you. I, I should be going to you first. <laughs> I want to hear from him. Yeah, my, my auntie, like you say, she she my auntie is a hustler. She babysits, sell pills, and do her. Oh, sell pills. I told, I I told you I had some. I knew you had some low down ways to do. Somewhere. I knew you were a great lady, a woman of God, and all that, but I knew somewhere in there. My nose started twitching. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. No, no, crack ass no. Is that old crack ass no. Old crack. Yeah, it was old crackables. So, uh, so. Huh? <laughs> no, sir, no, no, no. Listen, he, he need to ask for pop. I'm the one he called. Let me tell you something. He need to We're ask. talking about that crack. No, no, sir. No, sir. No, Back no, in the day. No, 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 sir. No, no, no. But I messed with them drugs, though. I did that, but I was wild. I was a wild thing, believe me. I got it to <laughs> Well, you certainly have yes, uh, recovered because yes, you certainly uh, appear to be well prepared to provide love and support to others and your take care of yourself. Yes, sir. Those yes. important things mm -hmm. in life, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, taking care of yourself means stay off uh, hard drugs. Yes, sir. So tell me what happened that caused you to sue your nephew for defamation. OK, let me tell you something. My nephew is very popular, especially with men like us, OK? Um, say for instance, I'm going to tell you something about him. He went to Atlanta. And when he got to Atlanta, he gets off the airplane. All these girls start running up to the airplane, flocking around him. They thought he was Puffy Collins. So instead of him saying he not Puffy Collins, he walking around flexing, you know, doing all this like he Puffy Collins. Now look at do he look like Puff Daddy? You? <laughs> I mean, he flexing. He didn't tell him that. I'm not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> so, Last time so, I mistook one of my. Uh, TV or film personality friends for somebody else, <laughs> it got me back on Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> exactly. so, I'm not saying so, that about Puffy. Puffy get more airtime than me. <laughs> Go ahead. No, he don't look like Puffy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so, you know, so the, the girls is crazy about it. So when he came up missing, okay, I'm working at Men Like Us. We selling dinners, okay? It was a flock of people up there buying dinners, selling dinners, actually. And so... As I got ready to leave, I came and told him I'm getting ready to go. I reached and one of the coworkers, Candace, was there, and I handed her the cash box, and I leave. So I guess when he went back, and there's a bunch of people standing in line, she takes the cash box, she actually sets it down, right? And I left, so when I got in the car, I'm on my way home, he said, well, Lisa, after he had paid me for the work I had done, okay, he said, well, did you take $100 out? I said, no, I didn't. You know, I said, I'm on my way home. He said, well, $100 is missing. You know, and like I said, I mean, I love him with all my heart. I would never do nothing like that, you know, to him. You know, but it's the principle of the thing. It's not even about the hundred dollars, you know. Cause he hurt my feelings. He made me cry. You don't think he was kidding? Huh? Did he ever come back and tell you he was kidding or? But like, like he said, like he said, it was a lot of people there. He had to ask everybody. You know, he didn't uh -oh. narrow it down nothing like that. But so since he, he asked you in the company of others. Oh uh, yeah, uh, no, no, no oh, on the telephone. I don't know who By was there because I was yeah, just you and was, he. Yeah, on the phone. Yeah, yeah. And yeah so he I was thinking, pranking. Yeah. Huh? Maybe he was pranking. Well, I don't know, but I said since you asked me, that, I'm taking you on Judge Matheson, please. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did that to a buddy of mine, my best friend. In fact, <laughs> mm -hmm. I told him. Um, he had my keys. He was the only one watching the house in Michigan when we first, when we moved out for a short time. Uh -huh. And I said, uh, hey, somebody broke in my house. <laughs> <laughs> and you the only one with a key. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote the phone. He said, man, you think I would have broke? <laughs> you the only one with a key, man. <laughs> 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 All I know 
He was human. He hung up the phone. I called him back. Just kidding. <laughs> and I was going. To, he still reminds me of. And that was 15 years ago. So that's what I'm thinking because that is a violation. I don't blame you. And so he gonna you know think saying? you gonna take a hundred dollars out of his business. Like I said, you can't have brief half time. And when you need to ask for pump, you call me. You know what I'm saying? Auntie, you gotta ask for pump. I started to say you go next to them girls that's in love with you, give you mouth to mouth. But he like, only. <laughs> <laughs> now you see, yes. you see that. Now, this right here is a prime example of why I think the money came up missing from me. You jealous of all you women you have. No, so no. She I, got it's a a better one. I got a better one for you. We went prior to. Now, you know, self-checkout, you go in, you scan your stuff. They and was you taking pay, too long. And you go. Lisa went to her own self-checkout, and she checked out, but didn't scan all of what she checked out, I'm going to just say. <laughs> so when we leave it out, she got all this extra meat and thinks she's going to get in my truck. That makes me an accessory if they got her on camera stealing. But she loved me so much. So you figure, she, you get where I'm going with this. She didn't know the law, that's all. That's she all she's been a crook most of her life. <laughs> But you're on the She's song. been a crook, and I know it, and she don't know how I know it, but I know a crook when I talk to a crook. I know when you've been a crook in the past, current, or even if you're going to be one in the future. Right, right. <laughs> so, so when I see... When I, when I see Lisa coming, I know she finna, she finna get a hustle on and she finna cost me some money. Congratulations. Thanks for the work that you do. Thank you, And you're gonna go in there <laughs> messing <laughs> his business up. You got a lot of nerve. <laughs> oh, you didn't went through it. I don't even know what it is, yeah. but you didn't live pretty low down back in the no, day. No, 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 no. Get your half. Plaintiff Lisa Hughes is suing her nephew, and he claims Lisa is a hustler who sells pills for money. He only said it to you, though? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. But what hurt my feelings is because, like I said, you know, I do a lot for you. You know, when you call, when you need something, you call me because he know I will I will get it done. He has trusted me to do a, a lot of things for him, you know, babysitting his son, you know, this, this, that, and the other. You know, I do a lot, and it, and it really hurt my feelings more than anything. It's and the you principle. didn't curse him out? I, 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 didn't, I was too mad. Baptized. I was too mad. <laughs> yeah, I was too mad. But believe me, I was. But see, I just had a pin put in my neck. I wanted to rock my neck and cuss him out. I showed sure did. So you said you had been baptized or something? Yeah, she yeah. just recently, recently, recently baptized. Yes, baptized. Yes, yes, right, yeah, well, I've been in the church. I've been in the church. Him him they had nothing to do with. So if your throat were clear, you would have cursed him out. I'd have cussed him from here to Alabama. You just <laughs> you got baptized. <laughs> All right. What happened? Well, the affirmation is intentionally telling someone something you know to be untrue. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Trying to hurt their reputation. Yes, sir. And it does hurt their reputation. All three, untrue, tried to hurt your reputation, made up something, essentially. Yes, sir. Said something untrue in effort to hurt your reputation. Third part, it has to hurt your reputation. Yes, sir. Have to say it to a third party. Yes. He said it to you. He didn't say it to anyone else. Not that if I he'd have said that to someone else, then perhaps she would have a claim. Um, and so in this case, he didn't. He said it to you. That could be insult. Y'all don't know if you can't sue for it. Well, he told, he told his mama that. <laughs> he, he told I, his mother? Yeah. And did she call you accusing you? No, my sister, she said, well, Lisa, we know how you cut. <laughs> Does that mean they believed it? No, she didn't actually believe it. She, said, you... she said, I can understand you hurt. She said, well, what, you know, she said, you know, he did thank it, you know what I'm saying, but I don't really How think... How can I not? Huh? How can I not when, but, when you just... They, 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 the they, listen, let me tell you so something. People was walking up, up to me, sir. Reason. No, hold on, yeah. you sir. Where you think the money in the box? Well, who I'm coming to? I'm but coming to the so person I made I'm with him. Now, what did happen with the money? Okay. What happened with the money in the I, box? Like I said, I really don't... You said everything but what happened to the money. Well, I really do not know. When I handed Candace that cash box, she said that, and it was a flock of people there standing in line. She sat it on the table, and I walked away. So so now you, you understand why I counted the money, and I gave Lisa $60 <laughs> and told her thank you, because I, I and, finally and, had it. But honestly, she, And then I, when I go back to the box, 15 minutes later, after she leaves, it's 40 bucks in the box. And like, like I said, honest, I, honestly, and from my heart, honestly, I, I don't know what happened. I, I really don't know, because like I said, I gave Candace the cash box. And it was people standing in line, so when we go there, it's a little black box. 
And we had like a little bar table sitting there and she set it down. She turned back around to drop some egg rolls in the air fryer. I walked to the car. So I honestly don't know what happened. I'm, and you know, that's all I can say is I don't. Any other employees you talk to give you any insight? I, I know who got the money. How? How, uh, yeah. How are you so convinced? Because she will go sell a dinner in the parking lot and keep the twenty dollars and not put it in. I ain't never done that. And people come to say, I already paid Lisa. No, oh, no, you uh, paid Lisa where? In the parking lot. So you ever had that accusation? No, no, I have no, no, I have never done that, Boopy. No, I have not. Okay. Has he ever okay. accused you of that? No, he hasn't. No one has accused you no, of that. Not to have my you face. ever asked her about this before? I just know. No, I, I just know for a fact that's going on. How do you know? Because somebody told me that so they gave. So why didn't you ask so that you could find out for a fact? I was building the case. <laughs> <laughs> You should have waited until you built your case before you agreed to come here. Because that's a pretty inflammatory it. allegation <laughs> that she steals from you every chance she gets. But that's no, I don't, I don't. Almost do that. you're saying I need to nail, you need to nail everything down at the office. The money, the pens, the paper. No, no, sir. But no. The, the food. Get that to a buddy of mine, my best friend, in fact. <laughs> I told him, um, hey. Somebody broke in my house. <laughs> You're the only one with a key. <laughs> Plaintiff Lisa Hughes is suing her nephew, and he claims Lisa is a hustler who sells pills for money. All right, so no, sir, you can't just, you're not finished building your case yet. Okay. So, uh, and on the other hand, ma'am, once again, you can't uh, sue him for calling you directly and asking you. That's yes, not defamation. It's the principality, though. It's the principal. Yes, yes. sir. And I understand <laughs> yes, that's sir. why you're here. Yes, sir. Uh, because the amount you're suing for is, you know. I really want to apologize. It's not no, worth yeah. the inconvenience of flying all the way to Chicago. Yes, sir. Uh, and so I'm glad you all came here. And I'm glad I could help contribute to uh, reuniting you guys. Yes. Thanks. We didn't fly. She rolled with me. That's how much oh, I Oh, okay. You all drove from Ipsy. You yeah. drove that four hour drive? Yeah, yeah. And a half, four hours? Yes, and we, yes. But can you please do me a favor, Your Honor, so before we are truly really close this case? Can you tell Steve Harvey, I know he got four wives, and if he ever get ready for number five to call me. And make sure I'm you. I'm not telling Steve <laughs> that. Tell him that. Are I... you kidding? You well, did, can get you on just take a internet. picture of my lips? Can you take a picture of my lips and see them doing? Slide him or slide into him. Or what what they call it? Slide into you better slide into his well, DM. Tell, or that tell him to watch the show so he can know how much I love him and I would love to slide be Slide into five. his DM. <laughs> you can tell him all of that. <laughs> and you know who gonna respond? <laughs> Marjorie. <laughs> you gonna mess with that woman's man if you want to. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Your claim is dismissed as well. And we don't have a case here. Thank you, sir. If you guys uh, need to make sure you keep faith in each other's uh, love. Yes, sir. All right. Have All a good right. day. Appreciate keep it. Faith in each other's love. Yes, sir. And keep your money locked away. Yeah. <laughs> Most of the claims are dismissed. And make sure you tell Steve Hart to call me. Hold on. I'm out of here with that, Steve Hart. <laughs> I love you so much, nephew, and um, I'm glad we got this matter resolved. I love you too, Lisa, and I need you to give me some gas money on the way back home. Oh, the, that's the judge? The, no, that, that's coming out of your pocket. Oh, okay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs>